My name is Marieke Koenen from the Robert University Medical Center in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. Diopurin treatment is very effective in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. However, a large proportion of the patients stop treatment due to adverse drug reactions. One of the most severe ones is myelotoxicity. Several studies have indicated that pretreatment genotyping of the TPMT gene followed by dose reduction in patients with a genetic variant in this gene results in less myelotoxicity. However, this pharmacogenetic test is hardly used in clinical practice. Therefore, we performed a large-scale randomized controlled trial to prove the effectiveness of prior-to-treatment TPMT genotyping in inflammatory bowel disease patients treated with thiopurins. In total, we analyzed 783 patients. The patients were randomized into two groups. One group was treated according to the standard dose advice. This was the control group. And the other group was genotyped before treatment. We genotyped three genetic variants in the TPMT gene. Patients who were heterozygous for a genetic variant in the gene were advised to be treated with 50% of the standard thiopurin dose, whereas patients who were homozygous for a genetic variant in the TPMT gene were advised to start between 0 and 10% of the standard thiopurin dose. Overall, we did not observe a difference in myelotoxicity between the control and the pretreatment genotyped group. However, if we look to those patients carrying a genetic variant in the TPMT gene, we saw a clear reduction in the occurrence of myelotoxicity from almost 23% to 2.6% in patients who were genotyped before treatment. To assess the effectiveness of treatment, we investigated uh, the disease activity in both the control and the pretreatment genotype group. We did not observe a difference in the disease activity after 20 weeks of treatment, indicating that the dose reduction in the patients who carry a genetic variant in the TPMT gene did not affect treatment efficacy. We showed that pretreatment genotyping of the TPMT gene followed by a dose reduction of thiopurins results in less myelotoxicity. However, we also show that not all cases of myelotoxicity can be prevented by a pharmacogenetic test of the TPMT gene. This can be explained by other genetic variants in other genes in the thiopurin pathway or by co-medication, which is a known factor for myelotoxicity. Nonetheless, we think that we clearly show that pretreatment genotyping of the TPMT gene results in less myelotoxicity and is therefore very effective to optimize thiopurin treatment in patients with inflammatory bowel disease.